It's embracing the literature of Harry Potter and having fun with it. Yeah, you get a lot more of the raw emotion. The inspiration doesn't stop coming. It opens up the door to creativity. It's so much fun. <laughs> this book is so awesome. I can do anything. It's given me something to smile about. I think that Wizard Rock is an expansion of the fandom in a way that is fun for everyone involved. Because, you know, the power of love, it starts as a tiny little ember inside each of our hearts. And then the power of rock comes along and gives your heart a nice big bear hug. The whole Harry Potter hype, it goes to show you that it's beyond the internet, beyond the books. Fan art, fan fiction, fan music. But I don't know how to play the drums, protested Harry. Playing the drums is not just banging on things, Ronald, said Hermione. Everybody who loves it has this feeling that's in their heart. It's like they, they love it, they cherish it so much. One of the core issues is getting kids into reading. <laughs> they heard about what we were doing and they started reading the books and getting more into Harry Potter. Students and young people need to see that reading is a part of our life and it's a creative process. It's not always passive. Like it doesn't matter if you if you've ever played an instrument before, like that stuff is so irrelevant to the fact that you can make music. We're the Hungarian Hard Nails and we're gonna blow this place down with fire and rock! If you wanna make music, you can. What's better than that? Play rock and roll. I've got on MySpace randomly one day like a year ago and I was like, this rocks. People hear Harry Potter and they think it's like a kid's thing and it really isn't. It's, it's more than that. Listen to it. It's fun. Yeah.